Hello everyone. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain you about how to determine the output type in inventory management. If you follow our videos or courses, I provided detailed video for purchasing. The steps look similar, but inventory management has separate SPR1 node, and I'm going to show you. I don't explain too much about theory. I will directly go to the topic, uh, how to do the configuration and how can it be determined. The steps are pretty similar like purchase order. So let me share my screen. Hope you can see my screen now. And uh, let us activate the... Okay. So this is the configuration for um, respective output determination in inventory management. So can I say output determination steps. This is the concept in IM. So the configuration wise, access sequence is completely optional, like access sequence or condition table based on our knowledge, understanding in purchase output type or even pricing. So access sequence and condition tables, we only go if you want to have a specific combination, which is not available in SAP standard. Otherwise, access sequence and condition tables we use as it is. But output types, we have to copy the SAP standard output type and we can create on our own so that we can assign the respect to smart form or PDF Adobe form, which is developed by the ABAP, we can assign in the configuration. So maintain output types by copying existing SAP standard. And the same output type we have to assign in the procedure. So those two are configuration, which we are going to discuss. And the access sequence and all, I will show you. Uh, you can uh, consider like anything available. We just utilize it. Then the master data, once you maintain the configuration, you have to maintain the master data. If you don't maintain what will happen, you have to input manually. So we always suggest you to maintain the condition record so that it will come automatically, especially for inventory management. Many times the transactions may post with uh, external system or RF device, or um, even the users will post it, but they, they may not care about what is message type and all. So ideally, we should maintain the condition records for the combination so that it will come automatically. And the testing, the transaction, and we are going to create a purchase order and then goods receipt and see how was the output type uh, visible, like how it determined. And if you want to display the output, we can see in MB90. So mainly uh, for our understanding, uh, output type has determined or not, and how was the configuration, you can focus on that. Coming to form and all, uh, in real time, you can develop your own GR note or GR form based on the business requirement. That respect to form and program will be assigned in configuration. Next configuration or in SPRO, you can do that. So the display of uh, visibility wise in uh, IDA system, you may not see the proper layouts and all because there are multiple kinds of uh, layouts. You can get the output and the respect to form, everything needs to be assigned. So these are the configuration and uh, test data. So let us go to SAP system. First, we go to SPRO, Reference IMG, Material Management, Inventory Management and Physical Inventory. Here, Output Determination. For Output Determination, we can see here um, Condition Tables, Access Sequence, like I mentioned that, Maintain Condition Table. If you really want to have any kind of a Thing, you can uh, create a new, otherwise we use SAP standard. So for example, here we can see this 901. Uh, I'm going to utilize this one. So we created a new, earlier I created this 901 uh, table just for the combination of moment type and plant. So condition table, access sequence, 
So you can use any SAP standard 001 and all. So for our testing purpose, I created one uh, new access sequence, uh, Z001 or G001 for the combination of moment type and plant. You can check the access sequence details. Okay. So the 901 table is assigned to G001 access sequence. In real time, mostly we will have that combinations, uh, whatever the combination. If the combination is not sufficient for your business requirement, then you can create a new condition table and access sequence. When you create access sequence, you have to assign your respective condition table. If you have multiple tables, then you can give any one of them as exclusive, which is more important. Okay. If you want to see the fields inside of the table, uh, we have given one is BWRT, another one is WRKS. So these two, yeah, this is the one, you know, our main focus area, maintain output types. So there are multiple output types are there. Let us take any one example. Maybe I will take W03 and copy. You can use GGR3. Um, GR output for demo. Okay, access sequence. You can use the moment type and plant combination or else you can use transaction type, whatever SAP standard also, you can use it. Default values, we can put four. Of course, it is a printout. And uh, time storage system. Print only, storage mode. If you keep this all default while maintaining the condition records, these things will come automatically. Okay, print tab based on the user parameters. Click enter. System will ask you copy all or only copy entry. Click on copy all so that the entire uh, data from the SAP standard will come automatically. So this is our output type, GGR3. Go to processing routine. SAP standard form routine and form and all come. That's what I was mentioning that one. In real time, uh, the layout, the GR label or GR form or put away form or GR note, whatever you call it as per the business requirement. So the layout related all logic like table and field names like MKPF, MSEC, whatever the data you are going to extract, all the information logic we need to give to ABAP, then ABAP will prepare on form and the program, okay? If it is a PDF or smart form, you will give that form details. So all the based on the information, this data needs to be filled, okay? Save, save in the TR. So that's what I'm mentioning. Here, the respect to form details and all, you can ignore because SAP standard, especially in IDA system, the form related details are not maintained properly at the, uh, the program might not be available. So you don't have to worry more about the layout, how does it look and all, but you focus on whether your output configuration and the determination was done properly, it came to your document automatically or not. You can focus on that area. In real time, the form routine, mostly will use SAP standard, but the program, and form will be customized one, which was given by the ABAP, you can maintain it. Go back now. So output I we created, but it must be maintained in the processor. Same like purchase order, how we assign it. Go to processor. There is only one based on SAP standard. Go here, go to control data. We copied from W03. We can use the same uh, for our reference also. W E03. We can use that and click on copy. The step number, the last step number, anything uh, you remember, and give the Z GR3. Click on enter. You can see here. So this is our output we added at the last. And the requirement, we just follow whatever SAP standard related is available. We can maintain it. It's a GR or GI collective slip. Okay. Discussion, which I explained initially. 
access sequence we are using standard optional maybe when i comment on more maintain condition table that is also optional but output types i recommend to use a customized one not sap standard because uh, you definitely make certain changes with respect to default values and uh, form program these details we are going to have it so i suggest copy from sap standard okay procedure maintain output type maintain new output type so this is what we have to do it so done the configuration now and we are going to master data master data you can access from here maintain conditions or else we can go with nse so create condition so the transaction code if you see at the right hand side mn 21. So output type FGR3. I'm going to maintain for 101 because I want to test with purchase order. And my plant NS12. So when the plant and uh, moment type are matching, system will get automatically. You can see here by default, 4 has come because in the defaults we have given as 4. One is print medium, one is print output, and four is immediately send immediately, which we put it in the configuration. That's why it came automatically. Go to communication and uh, see here storage mode. I put print only, so that also came automatically. Output device, I'm going to give SAP standard LP01 and print immediately. Save. So we have done the master and the configuration is completed. There are certain other configurations like printer determination. If you want to determine a specific printer for the combination of plant and storage location, you can maintain here. For example, what happened? Just now we maintained the condition record for the plant. Okay, but um, you have multiple storage locations. You want to have different printers, then you can use this printer determination based on the plant and storage location or else in the condition record also, we can have a storage location. So however uh, is feasible that we can maintain it. So I hope uh, you understand now. We did the configuration and they maintain the master data. Now we are going for the transaction data or testing. So ME21N and uh, give the vendor. I'm doing the testing. So I gave the vendor, which is working fine. Quantity 100. OK. So 100 and confirmation is blank. I don't have any release strategy. So no release tab and save the purchase order. So my purchase order number is 46002290. Then we'll go to Miko. Goods received, purchase order 290. Quantity, let's do some 20 quantity and delivery note. We can give Ganesh SAP SCM 001. Bill of lading based on the number which is given by the vendor or 002 2025. Post. Once you post, you click on display of your material document and you can see the additional tab here output. Go to display outputs, the one which we created, ZGR3. You can see here communication method and print all the information. So your configuration is successful. Okay. So if you have done this configuration properly, it will come. The form I told you, right? Uh, how does the form work and all based on the which form, exact form you assigned it. If you want to see that, go to MB90. Here I won't show the display and all, but uh, you can see how you can see in real time that I can show you. Give your output type. And if you know the material document, you can give the material document. Other system will show you the list of material documents. And while running processing mode, you have to run repeat processing because already the first processing was completed, right? Uh, because it's already green. So you have to use repeat output. And sort order, let it 0, 1. Okay. So material document item output type, how you wanted to sort it. And transmission medium, far as anyway one. 
okay if there are multiple you can import it if you know the material document and details click on execute system will show you our material document along with other information and you can click on the select if you want to reprint again you can click on execute it if you want to display you click so that system will show you the overview like this based on the form which is assigned it will come and if you want to do the repeat output click on execute so it became green again double click on the material document or you can click on uh, log here you see here what uh, no process so now you go to me go and uh, display go to output go to display outputs you can see here two because we have done the repeat output initially 516 later we did at 517 this is the way how you can configure and uh, assign the respect to smart form program given by a bab so it will work as expected I hope in this video you learned about how to configure inventory related output types, whether it is a medium of printer, if it is IDOC and all, you have to do additionally like um, the kind of medium will be EDI and condition records everything you need to maintain. Additionally, the IDOC setup, which you learned about uh, IDOCs in our other courses. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, we provide you valuable feedback. And if you have any inputs or anything related to output make very good issues or any requirement, you can mention as a comment so that I will make a video in the future. Thank you.